Hey guys, Kyle here with Dark Iron Diesel. Uh, today doing a quick video on installing a BDS dual steer stabilizer on a 2017 Ram 3500. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments or look me up on Instagram at darkirondiesel.com. So here's the kit. Uh, and this is the truck it's going on. I actually just finished installing a six and a half inch zone uh, lift with new radius arms on this truck so that's why it's still kind of a mess around here but yeah customer wanted a lift and he wanted a steering stabilizer so yeah let's get to her okay so the first thing it wants you to do is take this factory steering stabilizer shock out so you got a 18 millimeter nut 18 millimeter bolt so you're going to take that out and then uh, same over here we're going to get rid of that shock quick here's the shock once you got that shock out you can take this bracket out, uh, I think these are 13 millimeters, so two bolts here and two underneath. That bracket will come off. And same with over here, right at your tie rod and uh, two 18 millimeter bolts here and nuts. And we're gonna take this, this bracket off here. It's gonna come off as well. All right, got those, uh, well, there's the one bracket off and then the other bracket off. So first piece we're gonna put on is uh, this guy here. Uh, it says to put it, it's gonna mount with the factory bolts. So the bolts you just took out, put it back in here with this offset down, just like I have there. So we're just gonna put that on here quick. Okay, next we're gonna install this uh, center bracket part. Uh, it just goes right over there. Um, so it says on the bottom here, bottom bolts, we're just gonna reuse factory. And then there's new bolts for the top with spacer washers. So I'm just gonna put it in there loose and then I'll show you what it looks like. These are what the, the top front facing bolts and spacer washers look like, just so you know. Okay, so I haven't tightened it up yet, but uh, factory bolts in the bottom, new bolts in the top. And then now let's put the camera from behind it. But there's where the spacer washers go. So they go behind the bracket, just to push it out a little bit more. Okay, I got those four bolts tight. Uh, next, we're gonna put this guy on. It goes around behind it, uh, behind uh, the axle there. And then you run these two bolts in these holes right here and uh, tighten her up. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, got it on. Uh, by the way, 17 millimeter for these guys and 19 millimeter for these guys. Uh, here's what it looks like at the back. Try to keep the thread showing relatively close to the same, just so that you know it's nice and kind of centered back there. It's not kind of up or down, it's nice and centered. So anyways, on to the next. Take the tie rod adjuster clamp right here. Just take this bolt out, flip it, and point it back that way, just so we don't have this sticking out. We want this sticking out in the back because we're gonna have our shocks here. So my, it said uh, for both of them, mine only has one on this truck. So I don't know, you might have another one over here or something, but anyways, all we're trying to do is just take these bolts out and run them facing, pointing towards the back just for more clearance. Okay, so I noticed a problem with my truck. I don't know, yours might be a little different, but this is the bolt that came out. It's square on this side because it fits into that uh, square slot up in here. Uh, so if you try to put it in this way, it's just gonna, just gonna, okay, see this, just spin, spin, spin if you try to tighten it. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take one of these, uh, one of our bolts we took out of our factory steering shock, and I'm just gonna put it through because it fits the perfect length, and then just put this on the back and tighten up with that bolt. Okay, well that worked fine. Uh, now we're gonna put, uh, the driver's side stabilizer mount. It's gonna go on your tie rod uh, and just uh, put the U-bolts in and just keep it loose at this point. Don't tighten it up yet. We gotta do some measuring. Okay, I got it on here. It's just loose. Uh, so what we wanna do now is we have to measure the distance from the center of this hole to the center of this guy because this is where your shock is gonna run from here to here. So we need to, need to find that distance. And whatever that distance is, 
we're gonna make this side the same. So we need to know that distance because we need to know, you know, where we're gonna put this. So like I said, go to your passenger side, measure from the center of the hole to the center of this hole. And whatever that measurement is, try to mimic it for this side. Well, mine was like 20 inches on the dot. So that's what I set this one to. I'm not sure if I got to raise or lower this yet. I guess we'll see when I put the shock on it. But uh, now we got to put the bushings and sleeves into the shocks and get ready to mount them. Okay, so you're going to grease the outside of this, the bushing. It's going to go in here and I'll show you how I do them. I, I won't be able to actually show you because I don't have three arms, but uh, I put mine in a vise. Hold on a sec here. There we go. I I put mine in a vise like this and then I just close the vise on it after after it's been greased. So I put the bushing on first and then after we'll pound that sleeve in it. Okay, I got all the bushings in. Uh, so then these sleeves, you just, you know, put them in there, got them all greased up. And you're just going to tap them in gently. It's a lot easier with two hands, but you get the idea. All right, we got the shocks so we can put them on the truck. Uh, this guy is just, you're going to set it on top. And then we're going to put the shocks inside there with these bolts uh you'll notice there's a couple of these washers they're much bigger they'll be for the outside uh and they'll they'll go like this you know just because there's just going to be instead of just having a little a little washer on there where it's going to be snugged up you're going to have this big washer on so i want to put these shocks on i'll show you kind of everything after that all right well there it is uh so i can show you on this side this is what I meant by you put the big washers here because there's nothing confident in there. So they put the big washers on the outside, on the bottom here, tighten them up in the middle, just like that. And yeah, that's it. I did actually loosen these a tiny bit and just knocked it up just a bit, just to kind of keep it nice and nice and straight and even. So now you can throw your stickers on if you want and away you go. Finished product. In my opinion, you definitely gotta put the stickers on. I think it makes it look so much better. Okay guys, well, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I know sometimes it helps to be able to see instead of just reading instructions. I know I enjoy watching other people's videos when I'm doing something new for the first time. So anyways, guys, please like and subscribe. You know, it really helps me uh, make these videos, gives it a purpose. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, ask in the comments or look me up on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. Shoot me a message. Thanks.